Hi, my name is John Mashney, and I'm here to do an intense book review. What I do and what I've decided to do is to take a book that I've read in the past and then create a short snippet for you that tells you one principle that I pulled from the book that I think is valuable that you can implement in your life immediately, as in right now, without even reading the book. And then if you have an interest to learn more about that principle or the other principles that are in that book, you can pick up the book directly and read it, starting with a framework that will help you tremendously in your processing and learning the information in the book. Or it could be a book or whatever, but today we're gonna to be talking about a book. Last time I talked about a previous book. I hope people enjoyed that. Now I'm going to talk about a great book. It's very short. It's actually an ebook. I don't think it's available in any other form. It's called The 80% Approach by Dan Sullivan. This book is really amazing. And I think if you have any problems with procrastination or perfectionism, you absolutely must read this book. And here's why. This approach called what Dan calls the 80% approach is is, is incredible because it allows people to overcome what I think are two of the biggest problems, at least for me personally, perfectionism and procrastination. We all have a ton to do. How do we get more done? We eliminate those two, those two things from our lives. So here's the basic premise. Most of the time when we have a problem or we're trying to achieve a certain task, we want to get it completely perfect. We want to have a solution that is 100% of what we view as the ideal solution. What Dan says is, no, don't do that. Don't get the 100% 100 solution right out of the gate. Don't do it. Go from zero and get to the 80% solution. And you can know what that is because you can sit down and work at something and get it to a point where it's not perfect, but get it as far as you can take it without it being perfect. So he refers to this as getting it to the 80%. Now, why does he say get it to the 80%? One, because it builds confidence. When you don't have to have a perfect solution, then it's much easier to finish. You can finish it faster. And what I love is that Dan says it builds confidence. It builds confidence because you're actually accomplishing something and you're getting it done. Two, it actually will eliminate delays in getting something done. So it gets done faster, it builds your confidence, and one of the third thing, there's, Dan talks about a ton of things in this book, but one of the third, the third thing I did not expect at all, and here's what he said. This 80% approach is one of the greatest ways to increase teamwork in an organization. And that really it kind of blew my mind. It blew me away a little bit. And here's why, and I'm probably not doing it justice. I'm just telling you that I think that this is something everyone should implement in their life and everyone should read this book. This is a book my kids are going to read, period. Here's why it builds teamwork. Because when you're only trying to get to 80% and not 100%, you're not trying to come up with the perfect solution. You can apply what Dan calls your unique ability. And I love his description. I'm not gonna go into it because I want you to read the book but you can apply what is the ability that you have, the skill set that is unique to you and no one else, your unique ability. So you use your unique ability, your unique skills that you have that no one else has, and you get to 80%. So you apply your best skill set that's unique to you to your 80%. Then you hand off that particular project, that task, that action item to someone else who has another a unique ability that's different than yours. Now, they're not starting at zero and trying to get to 100, they're starting at 80. The 80% 80 that you achieved, they're starting and they can now apply their own 80% approach to your initial 80%. So now we take someone that's at this project that's at 80% and we apply someone else's 80% with them applying their unique ability to your 80%. And so now if you go through two kind of iterations of this 80%, you get 80% and another 80%, which is 96%. Someone can check my math. But 96% solution after two iterations where it's getting done faster, it's building confidence, and now you're working as a team because you need multiple skill sets, multiple unique abilities, and you're taking the best of each one. Again, you can apply another 80% approach, and now you're close to 99% with three people getting something done quickly, but doing it 
to the maximum of their unique ability. Now, here's going to be the key point. I think I would encourage everyone to read this book that's trying to eliminate procrastination and perfectionism. But here's the final thought for you. I love what Dan says, mainly probably because I hate meetings in general. Uh, not because I don't like the meeting, but because I think people could run them much better than what we do typically. But Dan says you should never go to a meeting unless someone has initially done an 80% approach prior to attending the meeting. And then everyone at the meeting can collectively apply their unique abilities to what one person individually has performed an 80% approach or 80% solution on. Now, you're not starting from scratch in the meeting. You're starting from someone using their unique ability and applying everyone else's unique ability. I think this book can help you eliminate perfectionism and procrastination and get more done. The book is an extremely short read. You can read it on your phone. You can read it on a Kindle. You can read it online. It's incredible. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you enjoyed this particular video and audio. And if you'd like to get access to my full notes about the book, visit my blog and uh, you can download my complete notes that I took and thoughts and reflections on this particular book. So check out the book, The 80% Approach by Dan Sullivan.